lovelies, I hope you're all well. So today I wanted to go through group, attach and weld. I wanted to show you what each of these things do and also when to use them and when not to use them. So we're working with a multi-layered SVG today and quite often it will come in either as one colour like this but you can see all the layers are individual or it will come in in all the different layered colours. One of the first things I want to deal with is a lot of people say, I bring a design in, I don't want to change it, all I've changed is the sizing, I've kept it exactly as it is, it's all grouped together, I go to make it, and then everything is individual on my mat. Why is that? The reason being is that grouping is great for when you're in your canvas. I use grouping a lot for when I'm changing a design, when I've got lots of layers. But when you come to make your project, grouping will not keep everything as you have made it. It only does that in your canvas. So grouping is organising all your individual pieces together, but it's not actually securing them together. Grouping is great because you can group and ungroup, so it's completely undoable. And as I say, I use it a lot when I'm playing with designs, if I'm not sure what I'm going to do. And of course, the other thing is, if I want to quickly put things into sequences and then play with them in more depth, I use my grouping tool. So for example, all these stars are currently individual. So what I normally do is I'll come in and I'll just grab a group and I'll then go to group. I can then click on them and in my layers panel it will take me straight to that group and I can just hide them straight away. And I always do this quickly and roughly when I'm first starting. If I'm not sure how I want the design to be, then I will group first. Attaching is really what you're going to use a lot. The, the attach feature is probably the most used feature and you're gonna find you use it an awful lot in the designing stage and when you go to make it. So whereas before where we grouped everything and we then went and made it and everything was out of line, if we just come in and we're going to attach all of these together, You'll see from our layers panel, they're all still individual. So they're their individual pieces. But if we go to make it, you'll see it all stays as we have made it. However, when you're attaching something, it means it's all in the same layer. So it's all one color, it's all in the same layer. Let's say I want to change some of these swirls here. So if I just click on one of the swirls and I click a color, because I've attached them all, it's going to change everything which is why grouping is really really good when you're changing the designs so I'm going to just unattach everything so I'm going to go to detach so if I know that I want something the same color so for example these circles I already know that I want them all to be the same colors so I'm going to highlight them and I am just going to go straight to attach with those I can then change the color let's say to a green You'll see they are still individual, but because they're attached, they all work with each other. So if you change one, you're going to change them all. Now these ones down here, I might want them in a multicolor. So I might want a line of different colors. So if I just highlight and I group them, if I want to individually click on one of the circles and change that color, I can. And we're going to do alternative purple for this one. So I'm just going to go through and change the colors on them. Now they're grouped. I've got them in different colors. If we go to make it, they're all going to be individual, which is fine if I want to individually place them. But if I want to transfer all the dark purples at once and all the light purples at once, then grouping is not appropriate for me to keep them that way. Equally, if I attach this as it is now, they're all going to change to one color. So before I do anything, I'm going to hide the light colors. So I'm just going to come down to my grouping and I'm just going to hide all those light circles. 
And you'll notice I do everything from my layers panel. I'm not actually going in and moving all of my pieces. I'm using my layers panel to keep everything in place. I'm then going to select the group and I'm going to ungroup. The reason you ungroup first is because they, if I attach just these, it will attach the others as well. So I want to hide them first, then ungroup them. I'm then going to draw around my dark ones and I'm going to attach those. I can then hide them. I'm going to bring back my light purple circles and I'm going to attach those together. So I want to hide this R just to make it easy to grab this area here. So I'm just going to grab this and I want to keep those all together as you see them. So I want them to cut in that pattern. So I am going to attach them and I want to change the color on those to uh, let's go with a yellow. Now if I do the same this side and attach this one and we attach and again I change the color to yellow because I've attached them separately, this one will cut out wherever it is on the mat and this one will cut out wherever it is on the mat. So I will then have to manually come in and transfer them into their places. If I want them to cut as you see them, then I need to attach them together. So I need to come in and hide that grouping there and then I can hide my group of circles so if we just go to make it so I can show you, currently they would cut like that and I can move them round. If I want them to keep as they are together rather than individually, then I need to attach them together. So we just draw around both of them and we then go to attach. And if we then go to make it, you'll see they keep their exact place. So with the text here, I've got several options. I am going to need to attach them because they are individual pieces of text. So each letter is individual, so I will need to attach them. But how do I want to attach them? Do I want to attach them as individual words? Or do I want to attach them all as one word? And that's kind of the decisions that you need to make based on how many layer colors you want. If you're going to have them all the same color, then you may as well attach them as one. However, if you want them all different colors, then you're going to attach them separately. So I've brought everything back apart from my stars because they're still grouped together because I'm not sure what I want to do with those yet. But if we go to color sync, you'll see we've got all our color layers here. Now because they're attached, if I move one, then I'll move all of them. So anything that's attached together, you will change the color on. But I can also just click the whole panel and bring it down. These pieces are the same. Now I've attached those individually. So if I get the D from my AND and I bring it to my green layer, it will change the whole word for me. So everything you see here is attached apart from my two stars, they are grouped together. Let's make those a different color so it's clear when we go to the layers mat. So if we go to make it, see these keep their separate words, but because I haven't attached them together, they're obviously going to cut individually. The stars, because they're just grouped, they'll come in as you see them. Let's say I want to make everything that's the same colour cut as you see it. So I want to keep all my yellow. So I'm going to hide everything that's not yellow in my layers panel. I can then highlight and attach. And if we then go to make it, you'll see they, they are going to cut exactly as I have created them. Now the last thing I want to talk about is welding. So welding is like super glue. So if you weld something, you then save and you close down design space, you will not be able to go back in and unweld. Unweld does not exist. Whereas you can ungroup and unattach, once you've saved a weld and you've come out of design space, then it stays as a weld. 
I always advise if you're going to weld something that you save first and then you do your welding. So there's three ways in which you can use welding. You can use it in something like this. If you've got other designs in your canvas, you want it all the same color, you're happy with the way it looks. If we just go to weld, you'll see our layers panel has dramatically reduced and it's become one complete cut. So whereas when we attach, they're still individual down our layers panel, when you weld, it's just one complete cut. You can undo as long as you haven't closed design space down. Sometimes I'll weld an image like this. Uh, it just depends if I'm working on other things in my canvas, if I've got lots of little pieces, uh, then I will normally weld them just to keep my layers panel nice and clean. But for the most part, when you're dealing with designs like this, which are all individual, you've got individual pieces, you'll be using group and attach. The other ways in which you'll use weld is if you are working with text, so you've got a font like this where you want all your pieces overlapping, you absolutely must weld them together. If we bring our letter space in and we bring them closer together, even if we've moved them with our letter space, you see the S and the P there, you will need to weld. If you attach them, you will get cut where the S meets the P. If we go to advanced and ungroup to letters, and let's just manually move these so they're overlapping each other as they're meant to be. So if I just go to the P and I go arrange and center front, And the same with the I, let's arrange and center front. You'll see where they overlap and it will cut like that. So if we attach them, well it won't cut like that at the moment. In fact, if we go to make it now, you'll see they're all completely individual because we haven't done anything with them. We've left them as individual pieces. If we simply just attach these, you will still see that we've got those joins and your machine will cut those joins. So you'll see the P cut into the I, the I where it meets the R, these will all be seen. So you want to go and weld them. When you weld it, it becomes one complete continuous cut. So everything flows into each other. If you have got any text or any images that are going to overlap and you want them to be treated as one complete piece, then you will need to weld them. So I've got my very beautiful house here. Again, I've got my square and my triangle overlapping. If I attach them, you will see that it will cut out the square and it will cut out the triangle. If we, however, weld them, they become one complete continuous cut. Hopefully this has all made sense. I use my grouping when I am changing designs. I find it's easier to group everything and I can then play with individual groups. When I know how I want a design to be, I will start attaching things together. If you want anything in Design Space Canvas to cut as you see it, then you will need to attach it. If I have anything that's overlapping and I want it to be a continuous cut, so that's text, and I always, always recommend welding your text when it's overlapping. In fact, if you attach it, it just doesn't, it just doesn't work. You'll end up with all these little cut pieces. So if you've got text that is overlapping, so it's a continuous cursive font, then you always want to weld. And if you've got an image that you want to overlap to create one image, then again, you will want to weld. As always, I hope this has been helpful. Please do subscribe and hit that notification bell and I will see you all again soon. Bye.